few years ago, I met a young man who ran away from his home, his family, his girlfriend, his band. He was a musician and he ran to a foreign country to seek for a solution for his writer's block. And finally, after a few years, he ended up working for a national bank. Yes, now he's a banker and he still hasn't found the cure to his writer's block. This is basically a moment I realized how real this thing is. I'm from a family of musicians and writers and dancers, and I knew there is such a thing, but I didn't know it's such a life-changing thing. So today I want to talk about writer's block. It's not only writers, uh, many other creative professionals like musicians, like painters, dancers, they all face the same problem at certain stage of their career. They have like a wall coming, blocking their way. It feels like when you flush the toilet and all the things supposed to flow down like this creative juice inside of the creative sewer is supposed to go down and out, but it doesn't. You know, it's stuck somewhere and it flows back onto your face and it makes you feel definitely crap. Before going further, I wanna see what Wikipedia has to say on the writer's block. The writer's block is a condition primarily associated with writing in which an author loses the ability to produce new work or experiences a creative slowdown. The condition ranges from difficulty in coming up with original ideas to being unable to produce a work for years. Okay, I think it says very well, basically you have different dimensions to this block. It can happen in several stages of your creative process. So I'm gonna break it down to three different scenarios. That is when you start a new work, when you're continuing working on this project, or when you are giving up for a while and you're returning to this same creative work and you get like blocked in this restarting process. So now let's start with starting a new work. This commonly happens among painters and they call it the blank canvas paralysis. Basically it's that when you're starting a new painting and you're staring at this brand new canvas that is flashy, empty, and intimidating. And you have this self-doubt, like, am I good enough to paint this blank canvas? So the blank canvas syndrome is mainly for painters. I don't feel the same way, even as a photographer, we don't have blank canvas, right? I asked several artists friends of mine, how do they solve this uh, problem? Some of them say, I just close my eyes and do a brush randomly so that I break this blank emptiness. Some others say, I just paint the background first because background is easier to paint. And whenever I painted the background, I feel like I've done something and I'm more like, I feel more comfortable continuing this work. Some others say, oh, I just do crappy work first and then put it on the side and I know I can do better. Writer's block is very different though. Uh, writer's block is mainly happening during the writing process, uh, especially when you are a screenwriter or playwright, uh, thanks to the Hollywood system that the expectations of a story is that you have 90 minute story and in the minute, 80 minutes, that time that you have to push the story to the max, that is the climax of the story. So for writers, it's more difficult when you are supposed to come, like deliver this story and you feel that you're not ready there, but people say, you know, give it to me. And you're like, I'm not there yet. So that's where it's more difficult. And my professor in screenwriting class, he said the best is do an outline of the story and always refer back to the outline. So whenever you have any doubts, you look and you say, okay, the first 10 minutes I should do this, the next 10 minutes I should do this. So you know where you are, so it's all about the big picture. I don't know if it helps for uh, painters as well. Some painters that I know, they actually Photoshop and do a mock-up of their finished work, and then they go back to painting. So whenever they are lost, they look back to the mock-up and then they just follow the same guidelines where they created for themselves before. Last but not the least, many people stuck when they restart a project. Perhaps they have a job or they have a health issue or personal issue. They gave up on the project or they paused the project for a while and now they go back. It's really more difficult to restart because you have this burden behind you. Like you have this little voice behind you saying you have failed once, you didn't finish, you're not good enough. 
So how to fight this personal demon? I think it's time to carry out your support, your ultimate weapon, that is your family, friends, and supportive community of creative professionals. Maybe you have already a community behind you on Reddit, on Quera, or on Facebook, Instagram, or perhaps you have like some good friends around you who really truly understand your difficulties and can support you, and maybe just a parent if you don't have like anyone too close, then ask your parent to jump in and help. And all they have to do is to make a bet with you. Is you can say, okay, I'm gonna draw every single day for the next 12 months. If I don't do that, we bet $1,000. I will lose this $1,000. Or I will take you to a very expensive restaurant, which I cannot afford. So you have something at stake that you can lose and you don't wanna lose your face, you don't wanna you know, lose your ego, you don't wanna lose, lose the money. So you have to really put in the hours and to show other people and other people will like, always go back and check on you to say, how are you doing? So this way you have the support, you have something at stake and you are pushing yourself to achieve a certain consistency. I would say writer's block has a lot to do with the consistency. It's suddenly like you lose the consistency and you're stuck and you, you can't restart. Having a really good consistency is definitely the key. You first think about painting every day, then you think about painting good paintings or good works every day. Now you have heard my tips on how to overcome writer's block, creative block, painter's block. How about you? Have you faced a creative block before? How did you overcome it? Please share with us your experience in the comment below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.